Hello and welcome back to another Omni Heroes video. In this video, we're just going to go through stages 51 uh, through to 75. So let's jump straight into it. So in this team, we need to build a uh, an Avengers team to get a 75% damage reduction. So we'll take these out, jump straight into Avengers. Now you can build Avengers uh, one of three ways. So the first way, um, you can just build a standard uh, Avengers team, something like this or something like this. Um, you know, potentially uh, taking out Sal, uh, putting in Althea, uh, something along these lines. Uh, this is uh, a very standard Avengers team. If you don't have Nerissa, uh, replace him, uh, replace her with uh, with Sal um, or Persephone, uh, depending on um, how you want to go about it. This way, you've got three Phantoms on the team. Uh, if you don't have Althea, uh, pop Sal in, um, and if you don't have uh, Mavis, you can pop. Solomon in, uh, or Albert, um, or Argadina, if you do have her. Um, but for us, what uh, the the second way um, is to go Elysians. So if we have a look, these are the Avengers units that are on the Elysian synergy, and you just need one more. So you could pop uh, Dahlia in if you do have a copy of her, or any of these units here. Um, potentially Corolla if you have her exclusive runes um, because she does copy buffs uh, as well so just something to keep in mind uh, you can pop Astrid in there, um, Elowin in there, Leandra in there um, probably Leandra but um, the final way of building the Avengers team uh, is to go onto your Astrals tab um, and choose only your, your Astral Avengers so that's one uh, I think there's four in total. Yep, two, three, four. Um, so you can choose four, these four, um, and then you can choose another Ast uh, Dragon Phantom, like Elmer, um, and then that way, if your front unit does die, um, you will always have the uh, the backup as well. But that's not the team that we're going to go for. We're going to go for um, something a bit flashier. And then we need one more, so we'll pop Janna in, and we'll switch you around, and then we need another Elysian, um, so might as well be uh, Leandra, or potentially Wukong as well. Um, let's just see how, how this one goes. Uh, again, there's, there's lots of different ways of building the team, um, but I've found that the uh, most efficient is to use the seasonal synergies um, to your advantage as well uh, so just something to keep in mind um, and then we'll go quick deploy we take you out take you out and we put where have you gone there we go you in uh, and then we can fit one more in so we might as well do this um, so yep, that's the relics. Uh, the idea is to, at the start of each round, Mystical Fountain uh, reduces attack and defense. Um, it does um, strengthen by two stacks per round instead of one. Uh, we'll do additional crit uh, after dodge, retaliates with a basic attack, increasing speed. We can take these out actually, and we can uh, pop in the dodge one. Uh, and we've got one more left. So we'll put in a damage boost as well. And let's just see how this one goes. Um, now, I've been experimenting with Wukong. I've got it up to nine stars uh, as it stands. So his um, secondary, uh, his ultimate and his uh, second active skill um, uh, are all now properly leveled up. So he is going to be switching. As you can see, he's doing a fair amount of damage when he does those basic attacks. And the reason that we wanted to put the basic attack one in is just so that we have... Um, more opportunities to do those basic attacks so if Wukong does stack uh, when he switches um, which is on attack currently uh, he will gain uh, an additional uh, attack uh, on his basics so whenever he does a basic attack uh, he will do sort of uh, 10 uh, well up to 10 damage as well and we'll see that when these guys start attacking uh, if they do start attacking so Wukong there um, finished them off and I can see the potential of this unit. Um, I can see the potential of Wukong, really can. Um, especially against weaker stages, but again, it's very similar to, to Themis. Um, and again, that's just not, um, it's not a viable strategy outside of the season. So it's whenever a unit dies. Um, oh well, whenever he triggers the swap himself. So putting Dahlia on the front row 
um, doesn't trigger the swap as much as you would think it does. So he is uh, popping off here. I know he looks very impressive. Um, but again, it is something to, uh, to keep in mind that um, when the seasonal buffs go away, that's when he's going to be much less impressive, I think. Um, but we'll keep going. Uh, we'll keep going with it and just see how well uh, he does perform within this team, within the Elysians team. As you can see, um, we are gaining attack. Um, and we do take them out very quickly, it seems. Because he's doing sort of 10,000 million um, on his first attack. So he's just wiping the floor with them. We'll see if it happens again, uh, if he can take out. Because um, Atrops is, in these events, is known to have um, quite low health. Um, but again, apparently it seems to have worked very well. <laughs> it's very consistent, actually. Now, I've not seen this before. But it is very cool. And every time he switches, or every time uh, the switch activates, he's going to get stronger uh, and start to build up. And he's also going to um, apply that stack of Holy Shield as well. So just something to keep in mind. As you can see, we're gaining the Holy Shield stacks every time we do take out an enemy. But we'll just have to see how well he does perform uh, moving forward. Uh, in the further stages, like the Nightmare stages, um, or in the Abyss stages as well. Uh, no kill that time. So we'll see how well he performs now, now that he's not got his first kill. Uh, it's because of the, uh, the Holy Shield stacks as well. But we are getting a lot of uh, relic triggers. Uh, that is thanks to the chest here. So the chest, in case you don't know, if you do have um, units of different types, uh, faction synergies, uh, up to four faction synergies, um, then he will, uh, then the relic will trigger um, twice or have the opportunity to trigger twice. Each relic will, which is why we've got the the double triggers here. Uh, so we didn't get the we didn't get the full sweep. Um, so you can get up to potentially you can get up to ten uh, relic activations as well. Man, that is quite powerful. It seems it anyway. It seems very flashy. Um, and it's it is I I do get it. You know, if you're trying to, if you're trying to, um, you know, grind your well, uh, grind your way through, uh, relatively weak, um, relatively weak stages like these stages are, um, I do understand. You know, so we take the the shields off, um, but we don't get this trigger, so we do sit through effectively. I think what we'll do, let's go ahead and skip at the next available opportunity in about ten minutes. Alright, yes, this is 58. We've still got quite a ways to go yet. It's again Wukong round one. And that's because our enemies um, have relatively low health, but he is doing a fair chunk of damage to them. Um, sort of 10 million per time. Now stage 60, uh, this is the fortitude uh, stage. We'll have a, a watch of this one. Uh, and just see where we get up to with it. Oh, that's fine. Huh. Everything was going very slowly. Ah, oh, shame. No kill on the follow-up attack. That is better, actually. 
taking the uh, the rainbow animation out. It's very flashy that rainbow bridge. Um, and so Wukong follow up attacks. Whew, he was getting Ellie. <laughs> um, yeah, so it is. It does seem very simple, but I do have um, very high-powered units. Now, next one um, is Enchanter Synergy. So we do get 40 dodge for Enchanters. Um, and let me go ahead and show you the different options for the Enchanter Synergy. So uh, jump in. Now, these are your different options to build an Enchanter's team from. My previous uh, Enchanter's team was something like this. So I'd have the two... Um, so I'd have two here, so Arcdina and Lachesis, and I'd have Halios, um, and then I would typically, I didn't have Eudora uh, when I was running Lost City, having to fight Enchanters, so these are the three, the primary three Enchanters that I would have. Um, you know, it is something to, to keep in mind, the Ellie, uh, Corolla, um, Arcdina, uh, also, not Arcdina, um, Athena, uh, R1, but what I'm going to do is... You, you, and you, and then we'll go into our protectors. And this is the team setup that I would typically run now, um, because you've got the three enchanters in Lachesis, Eudora, Mastima, uh, and then Katrina and Karnak as well. Um, so we'll leave as is. I don't, sus I don't suspect we'll uh, we'll have too much trouble um, with this. And stick uh, you in. Let's just see how well this team performs. Now we have a triple, um, triple Celestials um, team in Eudora, in Lachesis, and in Karnak. So Lachesis, hopefully, to remove as many of the Holy Shields as possible, uh, or Eudora to, um, you know, do what she needs to do. <laughs> There we go. Oh, back. I think that's the, the Phantom Synergy as well. Kicking him. Uh, but looks like easily able to handle these. So we're going to go ahead and skip these ones. Because they're not going to be too interesting to watch. I think the Wukong one was much more interesting to watch. Um, just because uh, of the new mechanic that he has. Uh, in the fact that he does a follow-up attack. Very similar to Themis. Uh, on kill and these enemies are uh, quite weak as well um, so 65 we've been through Emily before if you've not seen me go through Emily uh, and her um, abilities you go back and watch the the previous videos um, and it's all uh, explained in there so we're nearly at our final boss um, we've just got 10 more stages to go I think we'll skip through the majority of these. The only time that we we'll, we won't skip now um, is when we get up to stage seventy one, and we need to build a new team. So stage seventy, and we need Elysians. So we've still got all of the Elysians stuff in. Yep. Uh, let's go ahead and build an Elysians team. So again, I'm going to go straight for the uh, the new units. Uh, we Kong, and let's go ahead and build an Ethereal Elysians team here. Pop you on there, pop you on here. Leave these two at the front. We've got our Elysians relics in. Don't need to change anything. Uh, we will change the relics. So you. Chest and Hand of Tear. Jump straight in. Hmm. This Elysians team is starting to grow on me. I do. I do actually prefer this Elysians team, believe it or not, uh, to the. <laughs> 
uh, to the previous uh, to the the Astros team. Funny enough, AC curse has been applied, uh, or it had been applied. Um, oof. It had been applied. The uh, the team set we had before was uh, a bit better, if I'm honest. The Elysians team. A bit more efficient, anyway. Uh, right, who do we have? We had Janna, so we'll take out these two. Janna and... Who else do we want? Pop Astrid him. Um, and then I'll show you the combo. So this is the, the, the new combo, um, or it will be following on from the season so you have Dahlia and Wukong in the front um, and I'll just show you as to why um, now if you disregard the Elysian synergy so every time a unit takes action uh, they'll switch that is not particularly the case or what we want um, and the reason for that uh, is because um, so the, the combo itself, Wukong will grant Holy Shield um, and will build up whenever he uh, switches or whenever he um, when he triggers the switch. Now, Dahlia will then copy all of the buffs um, that Wukong has and then Wukong with his red runes will copy all of the buffs that Dahlia has. So these are going to be very important and trying to get Wukong um those red runes if you do really want to power him up i think or uh, i think he really will need those red runes i don't think the epics are going to do it and i don't think the in between um is going to do it either so we're going to go ahead and skip until we get to stage 75 now and then we'll finish on uh, on 75 so this is the uh, hatred troll um, Wukong won't be super effective in here um, attacks all enemies dealing 60% damage when enemies deal basic attacks with 1% of its max HP so we want to be doing as many basic attacks as we possibly can fortunately I think maybe Wukong will be uh, much better uh, suited in this environment and you do want this one so after triggering dodge retaliates with a basic attack against the attacker during battle I um, think what we'll do, yep, we'll leave that. And because it's on the middle square, so it's on the square where Astrid is, um, it will be directly opposite the, the Hatred Troll as well. So uh, let's go ahead and jump in. Uh, this is a different synergy, by the way. So if you are struggling, uh, it is the Valianters synergy. Um, and the reason for that is because Valianters uh, are known to do a lot of big attacks very early on. So we do want to get those dodges in as much as possible. So as you can see, every time we do dodge, um, we'll retaliate with that basic attack. So we'll get five now. And there we go, we're going to finish it off. And that's stage 75. Um, it might have looked easy, but if you're finding it difficult, I wouldn't worry too much about it. Just get that Avengers Relic in, um, the one that gives you a dodge chance for basic attacks, and you'll breeze through this one, uh, I promise you. Now, uh, that's it for me, uh, and I am just going to leave it on. Um, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you do have any questions or any queries, any comments, anything I've missed, please let me know down below. Um, and if uh, you can like and subscribe to the channel, be really appreciated. Thanks very much for watching. You have a great day.